Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Mass Effect 1. And we left off. We've recruited Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Stop. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You earned it, don't even. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. No idea what it's for. <laughs> Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Eh, you helped a good bit. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. You're cute, so shush. <laughs> I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Okay. Dodge Trump was doesn't have anything to say. She never does until later. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. So let's go up here. <clears throat> and... Let's examine that for one. Uh, Presley, you got anything more to say? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. Yeah. It was more of comic relief for the horrible ending. Sorry. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money Here's at work. the awesome part of how big this place is. Not this. That's, that's just a relay. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. <laughs> Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. That's one thing about this. For clearance granted, you may begin your approach, transferring you to an Alliance Damn. operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Don't tell him. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC okay. findings at the hearing, not before. Hold up. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council oh, to yeah. give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. Oh, they don't okay. like him being accused of treason. I'm sorry if you guys heard any of that. Hold on, let me try that again. Uh, I, you guys probably heard that. What that was is I was checking the last video. 
because I thought we had already done this, but I guess not. And I apologize for having it go over top of what he was saying, but... Saren's a threat to every human I'm colony out there. Next time. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your eh, candidacy for the that. Spectres. I don't need it. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. It's kind of the reason most people hate politicians. Important locations are marked on your map for active missions. Key locations may be marked as a destination. Uh, your radar will indicate the direction of a destination in exploration mode. Mm -hmm. Now if I remember, this gives us a mission. Yes, okay, that's, uh, Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during the flow of, uh, okay, it was up there long enough, if you guys want to read it, you can, uh, let's see, no, that didn't come, yeah, it does, okay, let's see him. Hello there, human, sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem so. distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? Sorry, put it on mic. This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Consort? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Kind of. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Um, Good day. I'll talk to him next time. There's a couple of times I gotta come in here anyways, so. So, I'm gonna do a little exploring, get a couple things done. Uh, Welcome to the proceedings. You know what, actually, Allow we're just gonna to go straight up to the, um, by accessing Citadel Transit Terminals like this one, you can travel directly to specific locations throughout the citadel as you discover areas of interest more destinations will become available city locations citadel tower garris saren's hiding something Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Right, bro. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who was that? Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the council. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe. Just gotta get 
up here and talk to Anderson and get this meeting with the council started. Even though they don't trust a single word. The hearing's say. already started. Come on. But honestly, it's understandable. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Mm, let's go this one. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless yes. speculation. I just can't Do you have fire. anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. You're actually wrong. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. I know how. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Okay. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Uh, Council and the Ambassador. Our Ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. 
He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Mm. Just punched my desk. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. <laughs> Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I protect him. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Is this legal? They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. <sighs> the Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. How oh, great. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. I don't think that would He's work not a in threat to life. anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can maybe use, would, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Mm, Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list: ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. But you and Saren. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. Uh, excuse me. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. Whoa. Anybody but I saw that? how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over. Anybody else catch the whole eye glitch thing Anderson just had? Because that was kind of freaky. Chorbun. That guy's up to something. What? 
Oh, no, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you following the Keepers? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Hmm, I'll help. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. Really sad I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. Yeah, I'm doing I'm this. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I'm doing this kind of the completionist route. Um, I should get going, then. I'll be doing some yes, side missions. Yes, I have much work yeah, myself. Off screen. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Well, we'll scan you. We'll go back up here and get the ones up here. Uh, I still got time. Hi. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Evangelical? So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. True, true. I'll try. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? <sighs> I'm sorry. It is almost 5 o'clock in the morning, so I'm a little tired. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. God, wait, what? I don't have enough this time? Okay. Can I buy your permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. That kind of takes me off that I don't have enough for this, because I usually do. I didn't do something before I did this. A hundred and fifty credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Not really. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. 
I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Cool. Okay. Now, we're going to do the consort, which should be... Sorry, consort. I've had my office rearranged five times. And then... Yep. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yes, I would. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. All right. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. Wow. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, why the fuck? Like, why? What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Sounds interesting. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman, a woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Gosh, I keep yelling at Yes, of course, mistress. I always thought this was like a super sexual scene, even though you don't do anything huh. but talk to her. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. But... Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Of course she took notice to me. First off, I'm the main person of the game. And two... You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Awesome, man. There ain't nobody better than me. At least not that I can tell. Not yet. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. You checking up on me? 
I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Important. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Don't what happened between my you? Cheek? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Nah, I don't think I can do that. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Well, sorry. Gosh. <laughs> okay. I will see you guys when we get to Cora's town. I'm a little nervous. And assassins. That's him. Send me. Okay, okay. That's him. To using like the top of the line gear when I play this game, so using using that kind of throws me off. Is the what is this noise in here? Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Ew. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I hearken you worth this piece Alliance of military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian <laughs> CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. 
But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Not my concern. I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first yeah, human yeah, ever given that on him, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Sam. <laughs> Says the Turians set him up. You are just sitting here getting drunk off your ass trying to blame other people. You said they covered all this up. Like How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Disgust me. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Uh, Captain Anderson. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown noses. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why'd you go ask him about that? You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. <laughs> What's it like working for yeah, C-Sec? Could be. You mean, what it was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. C-Sec was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You got off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. <laughs> what do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober. Save your sermons. This I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it, please. And I need to talk to Commander. you. <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Are you kidding me? Enjoy your drink, General. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, off you go. I don't feel right just leaving like this. <laughs> Don't waste your time, kid. Run away now while you still yeah, can. You need to start acting like a general if you want to. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am a tired, lonely, worn out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? I don't think it could oh, hurt. Uh, maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth okay. the effort. I thought I would screw this up. She won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. Say, you're a bright kid. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Would you be sure, interested yeah, in... What do you want me to do? Zaltan. There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. 
why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the oh, wait, what is His that? name is... Well, where here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make... Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Go get Garrus on our side, and then we will we will call it a day. What the fuck was in it? Oh, oh didn't mean to hit that. Oopsie. I love you. Really? Conrad. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick sure. autograph? No problem. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to Maybe. work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! And then I need to talk to you. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Remember well, those names? If you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. Remember them. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Olivia. Most excellent. I am sure you will. Oh, something pleasing. I honestly am just here. Looking for that. I don't think you bought this. And I am almost I broke now. I know it was you. I remember your face. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I will talk to you when I get back. I don't have time. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ow! Ah! Headshot. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? What Quarian? Tali. A few days ago... 
A quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? Stupid. Very stupid. That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really oh, going right. on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Okay, you made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan Maybe. might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh, oh. Oh, is. By the by the way, that's all the people we can get. I know I know my camera's kinda of blocking. Here let me adjust that just a little. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, that we got Tally right next to Garrus here, Rex. And our last person that we'll get later on. But yeah, we'll take this squad right here. And that is going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Comment, subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>